Right, here's how we do question 14 in this week's homework. We've got a particle of mass 2 kilograms and is attached to a particle or box of mass 3 kilograms. So this is 2g, this is 3g, and there's a tension in the string which is pulling the box that way and is resisting the particle that way. So using um, Newton's second law, F equals MA for the box, 2G minus T equals 2A, and for the particle T, and there's no force uh, opposing this at the start, there is later on in the question, there's no force opposing it here, so T equals 3A. So if I add equations 1 and 2, the T's disappear, so 2G is 5A, so A is 2 fifths G. And now for the first part, until the friction kicks in, we can use SUVAP. That will be on the next slide. So we've just shown that A is 2 fifths G. 2 fifths G is uh, 3.92. It's released from rest, so that's naught. V we're trying to find out. And until the friction kicks in, uh, it's 2.5 metres. So we're not interested in T, so it's V squared is U squared plus 2AS. Uh, so uh, U is naught, so it's 2 times 2.5 times 3.92. So that's 5 times 3.92, 19.6. So the speed at this point is the square root of 19.6, which is 4.427. OK, that's the first part. Then we've got friction. We'll think about that on the next slide. So a diagram sort of looks the same. I've called it T1 because it's not the same as T in the previous question. Uh, the normal reaction here is obviously 3G. And so the frictional force opposing motion is 0.75 times 3G. And that works out uh, to be 22.05. So in case you're not sure, that's uh, mu times R. U is 0.75 times 3G works out to be 22.05. Uh, so we can do the same thing as before using Newton's second law for the uh, particle 2G minus T1 equals 2A1. It's not the same A as before, I'll call it A1. And T1 minus 22.05 is 3A1. So add those equations together. Call that 3 and 4, ready here 1 and 2, so 3 plus 4, uh, and we get 2g minus 22.05, um, that's minus 2.45, equals 5a1. So a1 is minus 2.45 divided by 5, that's minus 0.49. In case you're not sure, this minus 2.45 comes from adding these equations. Minus T1 plus T1 is nothing. 2 times 9.6 is 19.8. 19.8 minus 22.05 is minus 2.45. So now we can use SUVAT again. Uh, the distance it's now got to move is 1.5. The initial speed is the final speed from before, 4.427. The final speed, that's what we're trying to find out. Let's call it V dashed. A is minus 0.49. Not interested in T. So I'm going to squash this in. V squared is U squared plus 2AS. So that's uh, U squared, that's 19.6, 4.427 squared. Uh, and it's minus this time because it's, it's, uh, it's decelerating. So it's 2 times 0.49 times 1.5, that's 1.47. So V is the square root of 19.6 uh, minus 1.47, works out to be 4.26, uh, which is 4.3226 six figs. We've used G as 9.8, so we should give our answer to, three, uh, to two sig figs. Okay, that's how you do that question. If you've watched this, not knowing how to do the question before, have a look at this, replay the video, make sure you understand it, leave it for an hour, and then try doing the question yourself without looking at the video. Okay, hope this helps.